I've got to show you guys the most crazy exciting thing I've seen all day. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, A Drill and a Dream, where we are working very hard to um, fix up a 150 year old house, crazy fixer upper house. Um, lots of exciting things happening here. But today, my friend Jay, who's been working here at the house, texted me and told me to be careful not to fall through the hole in my floor. Bam. It is official. The people have spoken and we have decided to move the basement stairs. Crazy. Yeah, so things are happening. This is gonna be really exciting. So basically, it looks so different. I think because, maybe because this here was, this was gone. Why does it look so different? It must just be this, this whole area here was a closet before. And it's gonna be our new stairway. So we are getting the lumber together so as to build the stairs down yonder. And yeah, this is gonna be a really big change, but like a good change. I think that the stair, the door is gonna, the door is gonna be like right here um, because that way you can walk all the way down without having to go like that, which is what we have to do <laughs> in the current basement. You have to lean down a lot so you don't bonk your head. I have bonked my head many times, so that'll be really nice. I will certainly keep you updated on the progress of this as we continue along. So as I've been filming this, um, my battery packs are at the house because I don't, my, my house, my living house, because I don't want them to um, lose their gumption because of the cold weather. So therefore I leave them at home. And the extension cord I had to use to plug in my light. So let's go ahead and uh, put the extension cord back in its proper place. Love it. And of course the view with the new windows. Does it get any better than that? It's just so homey, isn't it? And the moon is so beautiful tonight with the sound of the rushing stream. Does it get any better than that, friends? Hey pals, how's it going? So I am stopping at the house real quick today after work because I wanted to check in and show you the progress on the stair situation, basement stairs, because I know that Jay has been working on it today and um, he was working on cutting the floor joists, I believe. I did stop in at lunch today and talk to him about a few different things, but I wanted to show you guys the progress. Can I just say, I am so unimpressed with the constant rain that we've been having over the last Gosh, I think I think it's rained like every day for the last two weeks, which is just so depressing at Christmas time. There is no snow, obviously, because it's raining constantly, and it's just gloomy all the time, and it sure makes for bad hair days. Let there be light. Check it out. Can you see it now? Stairs. So basically, there were like three floor joists which were cut and when I was talking to Jay today at lunchtime, he had cut one of them, but not three of them. And I was like, are you sure the whole house isn't going to fall down when you cut them? And he assured me it would not. And he was right. So that's good. He um, supported it, et cetera, et cetera. I'm just so thankful for Jay. I just don't know anything at all. So we have the lumber here for the stringers. So that's gonna be, there's gonna be three of them that are, you know, going from top to bottom. And then I asked Jay and I was like, so do you just like cut them like do, 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 do? And he said, yes. So he's gonna cut them. He's gonna figure out, I don't know, do, do his thing and he's gonna cut them and we will put them going downwards. And then, I mean, other than that, I mean, here's a template. Basically, See, this one doesn't even have one in the middle. 
but mine's gonna have one in the middle. And then we'll just obviously put the treads on, which are the steps. And we were gonna, um, we were looking at the treads, like buying actual treads, and we decided on just, since it's not gonna be like, have to be pretty, it's in this ugly basement, we're just going to put like one by, one by tens, I think, on them to make stairs or something like that. So um, that will be the actual stair treads, treads of the stairs. This is a fancy technical word. So yeah, that shall be good. The good thing is obviously there's the door coming in right from outside, so we shouldn't ever have to carry something like stupidly heavy down the stairs, like a furnace or anything like that, because we could just take that in right from outside, which is easy peasy, lemon squeezy, love it. So yeah, this is the exciting stuff happening here at the house. Another activity on the radar is killing those stairs because they are obviously in the way of the stairs that are going to be going down, the new stairs. So lots of fun stuff happening here at the house. Um, but for now, we are moving on to something else. Whitey. Hi, did you come to join the fun? What, Trisha? Oh, she's so sweet. She's got her winter coat on. Hello, friends, and Merry Christmas again, as I say on every video, it seems, but because I'm always doing Christmassy things because I love Christmas time. <laughs> so today, me and my mom Hello. are doing a little bit of um, wreath making, and um, I'm very cute, Mima. Thank you. Just creating. I don't like to go through all the work that you're going to go through. <laughs> I don't love to either, but I do really enjoy having a wreath on my doors at my house. So I um, was going to make two wreaths today, maybe three, we'll see. And then I might put one up at my house, my house house, the house you know and are familiar with, um, and see how that looks on the front door. So we have these... Um, what kind of tree is this? Balsam. Awesome. Yeah, and I wanted to make sure I put them all the same way. And oh, I, sorry, now I'm just oh, like balsam greenery. And we are just you basically. So if you've never made wreaths before, you just kind of make clumps like so, and you just kind of put them in a wreath. See, this year I'm all fancy. I've got these two wreath holder, wreath maker things. But in the past, I've just used um, coat hangers and you just have to wire all the little leaves together and then wire it onto the coat hanger and it's just a little bit more work. So this will hopefully go quick and easy. To cover it with you. Is this good mom like this much? Yeah, well, you know what? I'm not, not an expert, but, but yeah. you're more of an expert than you me. You can um, just make it as thick as you want, but I, I think sometimes if you can make them go like up and the next one down, you know what I mean? It makes it fuller, but it depends on what you gotcha. like. Gotcha. Okay. That's why I usually just um, use a grapevine wreath because I get frustrated because it's hard to make them even. How do you? I'm gonna use this in my window box. Hi guys. I don't know about this up and down thing. You don't have to. Is that how do you do it? Well, I mean, I meant like one direction and the other direction, but. <laughs> Cause that's what you did though, right? Yeah, like I put this one down, this yeah. one up. Just do it all one direction. That's what makes it beautiful. What? Okay, right? It's a one direction song. Oh yeah. Oh. That's what makes it beautiful. I thought, I don't even know the one direction group, but I thought of that when I said it. Um, yeah, just do it straight. I mean, you know, maybe it won't be as fat or whatever, but who cares? It's free, you know, and it looks like a wreath. And it is a wreath when it's done. Birds of a feather would be. Two birds of a feather. Oh, show them, show them. Look at our birds of the feather come to join the party. Flocking together. Flocking together.
He came to join the wreath making party. Gosh, yeah, we watch Christmas movies at least one a night. And there's probably really good ones. Yeah. All we gotta do when you said when you know, that no, but no, no. The Noel Diary. Yeah. That's pretty good. Is that what you said that's on Netflix? Yeah, Netflix. Yeah. You know what's a really good movie, Mom, that I really enjoy Christmas movie, but I don't know if you could get Dad to watch it. It's not animated. But, um, A Boy Called Christmas. Did you watch it last year? You might have told us about it. I think it's so good. It's not animated? It's not animated. So it's, it's fantastical. Like Christmas. Oh, yeah. It's Are they, like, thing. not real people, though? No, but they're real people. There is a mouse that talks, but they're real people. Actually, it's so totally you, because the whole time... At the beginning, he was trying to get the mouse to talk, and he would talk to say all oh, the words to it. I remember that. Now, it was we, such a good movie. It was like a journey so or cute. something, yes, right? It was yes, so cute. It's I what, do remember Trudy's that. Trudy's reading it to her third graders. Really? Yeah, nice. and they're just, like, loving it. I do remember that now. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the table. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How's it coming? Good. Almost done. One. Really? Yeah. Wow. Hey, that looks nice. Right? What's that doing? Uh, 
Have you had a few more likes to sell? Yeah, what? A few more likes to sell. Oh. <sighs> well, what do you guys think? Cute! It looks like a little long right here, but you can just trim it off. And then just, um, like here is a nail right here if you want to put them on there and do this. And I have a, a bow. Limit. Actually, I have these string lights, these little, um, fairy lights. I'm envious of those. Just buy them for like $5 at Walmart. Fairly late they till too late and they're like, don't looking for them. Like, it's too late. I gotta do it. this video I will see you guys next time at the house as we continue this exciting journey and I hope you guys have a fantastic day